Hello everyone, I'm Devin Walsh. And I'm Roseanne Haven. Peter Albrecht has the night off. We begin with continuing breaking news from Washington, D.C. The U.S. Capitol is once again mm -hmm. a crime scene after police say a man rammed a vehicle into two Capitol Police officers, leaving one dead. The suspect also shot and killed. Our CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry is near the Capitol building. National Guard troops raced toward the Capitol Friday afternoon, then lined up shoulder to shoulder in a show of force. Law enforcement officials say a car had tried to breach the perimeter of the Capitol, hitting two Capitol Hill police officers and ramming into a barrier. The suspect did exit the vehicle with a knife in hand, and at that time he started to lunge toward uh, run aggressively toward U.S. Capitol Police Office. Police shot the driver and emergency crews arrived on the scene. Two stretchers loaded into ambulances. Police say both the driver and one of the police officers have died from their injuries. It does not appear that he is known to the Capitol Police or the Metropolitan Police Department at this time. It does not appear to be terrorism uh, related, but obviously uh, we'll continue to investigate. The scene unfolded while Congress was on recess. President Biden had left for Camp David and the White House press secretary was in the middle Absolutely. of a press conference. Um, I'm obviously not aware, as Kelly acknowledged, of the, of the situation at the Capitol. Uh, the president of the United States always travels with a national security rep. The incident comes three months after a mob of armed insurrectionists stormed the U.S. Capitol as Congress was voting to certify Joe Biden's presidential win. Just last week, law enforcement took down fencing around the outermost perimeter of the Capitol complex. Cars, unless they were cleared by authorities, weren't even able to get close to the buildings. Also last week, several lawmakers from both parties pushed for a bill that would remove permanent fencing around the Capitol. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Law enforcement authorities have confirmed the suspect is 25-year-old Noah Green from Indiana. Police believe he was working alone and the threat to the Capitol is over. We broke this story on the WKRG News 5 app. Get alerts like this one on your phone. All you have to do is download our app. It's free. You'll find it on Google Play and the App Store.